Here is an EO Alive LeGrand story. We want you to meet Nick Hackney, a local organic farmer and owner of Mount Glen Family Farm in LeGrand. He is passionate about providing the local area with organic produce and encouraging organic practices. Hear Nick's story about the farm and why he thinks organic farming is important. Well, my name is Nick Hackney. I'm the farmer of Mount Glen Family Farm. Um, this is our first year in market production uh, and hopefully the first of many. Since 2012 I guess is when I first started working on farms but I've been gardening since I was a teenager and I love it. It's my favorite thing to do. I want to keep doing it as long as I can. So we grow mixed produce, uh, lettuces, tomatoes, bunching greens, onions, all your normal garden truck, um, strawberries. I'd like to do more berries in the future, but that'll be down the road. Um, we do everything organically. We're not certified yet, but that's something we'd like to work towards in the future. Um, I feel like that's an important thing to do to be certified because there are a few other growers that do organic practices, vegetable growers in this valley that do organic practices, but none that are certified. We sell at the farmer's market and I do a small CSA, um, Community Supported Agriculture pickup, where people sign up in advance and uh, get a weekly uh, produce box delivered certain location. They usually pay in advance, sometimes by the week, sometimes by the month, and uh, they get fresh produce all season long. I'd like to next year start selling more to uh, grocery stores around here and uh, the restaurants and uh, just build a, build a customer base that I can supply and work with for years to come. I feel like it's important for me to grow organically because not growing organically or the chemical agriculture is still pretty new in terms of humans farming. Um, only about the last 60 years have farmers really been using chemical practices extensively and we don't know the full extent of how detrimental that is. We're starting to see it a lot, but it's only getting worse and worse as the oil-based fertilizers and sprays um, leach off of the plants and run into the water table. And Well, not to mention also that uh, you can't wash off these sprays. The plant absorbs them and then you eat it. Um, so there's, uh, you're always eating trace amounts of oil and other synthetic products in your food, which I'm going to try to do that as little as possible. Um, but also, the uh, soil health is greatly compromised in that form of agriculture. They take more of a, uh, a wait for a problem to arise and then try to fix it approach in big industrial chemical agriculture, rather than trying to make the soil as healthy as possible you know instead of preventative they just treat a problem as it arises um, and when really you should be building your soil's health as much as you can through rotating crops every year not growing the same thing in the same spot you know a lot of these big farms just grow the same thing on the same ground year after year after year and you just lose so much that way. Good thing is that nowadays there are so many young and old farmers that are following the organic practices and um, the movement is really just gaining more and more all the time. And the availability of information out there for new farmers is just 
through the roof. You know, there's so many books and podcasts and things you can listen to to help you get started and um, the kinds of tools that you can use for weed control now and all these kinds of things where before you just have to go out there with a hoe, now you can get a finger weeder or all these other things. So farming organically is much more practical and can be somewhat competitive with the uh, chemical agriculture counterparts. I would like to see more organic growers in this region because there's not very many. There are, there's about three or four other organic growers in this tri-county area, Union, Wallowa, and Baker. Um, there's probably a few more that I forgot. There's not very many of us, and there's definitely room for more, and it will only help everybody else to have more, because we can really work with each other, and um, there's the demand is out there, and I would like to inspire people to support their local farmers because there's no reason for us to be buying produce from California all year round or Florida or wherever when we can grow most of the vegetables that we need most year round here. Um, and we can do it for the same price or cheaper than they do it there. Um, it will just take the support of the community to get it to that point. And so, with that being said, we're in it for the long haul. And we would like to really settle down permanently here. And uh, we're in the process of purchasing some land a little bit closer to town that we'll really be able to uh, build infrastructure on and stay there indefinitely. Thank you to Eastern Oregon Alive for doing this video. Be sure to like their page and check out their other local content.